Hey, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. Did you know with Canva, you can edit and create videos right inside its designer? Well, in this video, I wanna teach you the ins and outs of it so that you can master the basics and know how to create all types of videos such as intro videos, product demos, video ads, presentations, or whatever it is you're wanting to record or edit. Let me show you how. First of all, if you don't have a Canva account yet, make sure you sign up so that you can log into your account. Link will be in the description box below for a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. However, what I'll be showing you here won't require a Canva Pro account. The first step is to create a new video canvas. To create one, make sure you click on videos on your homepage and then click on a blank video right here. We don't want any of these other options. We simply want a blank canvas to start with. If you don't see this, click on create a design and then search for video. The first result is the one you want. Now, the reason why we want to create a video canvas as opposed to a regular uh, Canva canvas is because of this. Let me show you a demonstration. Now, this right here is just a regular canvas that I created that's 1920 by 1080p, while this one here is a video-based canvas. The difference is with the timeline. So for some reason, Canva understands that this is a video and then they'll have this option to edit uh, on the timeline. Whereas th this one here, there's no timeline right here, but this is a video. If you look at the top, there's a little scissors uh, icon and you can very well split uh, your video here and do other things. However, it's a lot easier to have this timeline at the bottom uh, to work with. You also are given options such as splitting the page, whereas this one, you don't get that option where you can right click and then split the page. So therefore start a new canvas from a video template. Now click on a blank one because we are just starting from scratch. As you can see, the timeline is now below. The next step is to upload your video clips if you have any and you simply go to uploads. Once you've uploaded your videos, it should be under the videos tab. But for this demo, what I'm going to do is head to the videos tab and then I'm given all these stock video options to choose from. I do have a Canva Pro account, so therefore I'm allowed to use the Pro footage that's indicated with the crown icon. So I'm just going to choose this right here, or you can search for a specific video clip. In this demo, I'm going to create a little promo ad promoting a destination, a holiday destination that is. So what I could search for is holiday right here and see what clips come out right here. And I want that beach theme and that island theme so I can go and search for or use some of those clips. For the first clip, I'm going to select this one right here. You click once, that will add it to the canvas and it will play automatically. The first thing you're going to wanna do is adjust it. So simply drag it and then drag the corner to expand it and fill the entire canvas. And now you see the actual clip in the timeline right here. You'll also see the length of the actual clip, 5.8 seconds. Now the first editing option I wanna show you is cutting a clip. So we can either cut from the very beginning right here. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. So showing you how to actually cut out the start of any clip. I'm going to drag this and now you can see it's taking out about a second from the beginning. And let's say from the, at the end too, we'll take out about that much. And now the total is just four seconds. But let's say you wanna cut somewhere in the middle of a clip. Click on the clip and then wherever you wanna split it, let's say somewhere here, we can right click and then split page. But don't worry too much about splitting it at the right kind of second because now you can adjust it and they are separate clips that you can now edit. We can expand it, we can cut out or even expand that clip a bit more, but let's go and reduce it. But that's how you go about cutting a clip anywhere you want. I'll just undo that cut because I like that four seconds and maybe reduce it down to about three because I wanna add a couple more clips. But with this clip, I wanna add some text and say something like relax. So let's go ahead and click on text and that's the beauty of using Canva. You can utilize its design kind of options such as adding text, adding pictures and overlaying it with different types of things. I'm going to use this text template right here but deleting the bottom text there because I like this font, it's uh, it's called League Spartan. And now I'll just put in relax and 
we'll make sure this is simply cropped right there and centered. It's not quite done yet. We'll center it somewhere there and expand it. Okay, we wanna make it a bit bigger. You can either drag the corner or you can use the resize font sizes right here. Okay, but I had it right before and I'll just use the little corner to drag it and increase the size like so. So I'll put it somewhere in the middle and centered using the guides. Still a little bit big for my liking, so I'll reduce it. And now it's centered right there. All right, let's play it so that we can see how it looks like so far. It's just the clip in the background and that text. Now, what we can also do with the text that we just added is animate it. So if you simply right click it, there's this animate uh, option, click on animate, and then you're given all these different types of animations. If you hover over any of them, you can preview and see how it looks like. We've got uh, rise, pan, fade, pop, wipe, breathe. And so it depends how you want your text to appear, what effect you want. But in this case, I think fade works quite well with this. Now, if you do have a Canva Pro account, you're given the option to increase or decrease the speed and writing style. We can do a character, a word, line, uh, element. All right, but uh, we'll just leave it as that and we can increase the speed or we can decrease it. We'll just decrease the speed so it's a little slower and let's play it now. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, it fades a little bit, but not too much. Well, that's our first clip right there. Let's go ahead and add another clip so this all kind of makes sense. I'll click on add page and we've got a blank canvas here. I'll click on this one. This one looks pretty cool. Now it's got that splash. I'll again, increase the size or we could very well just right click and then set video as background and then that will fill the entire canvas. All right, so the next step is adding the text again. I'm just going to copy this, my keyboard, just a little control C, command C, whichever operating system you're using so that I don't need to do it again. So relax, I'm gonna put unwind. All right, increase this right here and put it somewhere in the middle. Another thing you can do with your videos is actually adding some effects. So we can go and edit the video and then adjust the settings. If we go down to something like vignette, we can increase the amount of vignette and you can see the edges and the corners going darker, all right? So that's the vignette. Makes it a little more dramatic and cinematic. So add the amount of vignette that you want. We've got other things, of course, so brightness, contrast, highlights, just the basic adjustments that you can do uh, with uh, video editing in Canva. But that looks pretty good, and that way it's a little darker and that text stands out a bit more. So now we've got this three second clip, 10 second clip, but I do wanna decrease this size, otherwise it'll be too long. Uh, let's just say three seconds each, and making sure that this still has its uh, animation, so animate, we've got fade. We can even slow it down. So because I do have a Canva Pro account, I can take advantage of that. Um, same with same with this one here. Let's just go and decrease the speed of the fade and let's go and play the video. All right, we'll start from the beginning, play it. So relax, we can say unwind. Okay, and uh, let's add another clip for this demo. We'll go back to videos. So again, click on add page, even though it's not quite a page, but it's more like a clip that we're adding. And then we are going to go back to videos, but in your case, it may be in your uploads if you are uploading your own videos, but I'm just using some of the stock footage inside Canva. All right, so the next clip that I wanna add that I searched for in advance was this one right here. All right, Sydney is which is where I live. <laughs> and we'll uh, do a set video as background once again. This one's quite long. I do not want it uh, that long. So I'll decrease it and kind of find the bit that I want. Um, whoops, let's just use a scrubber. Uh, the scrubber's right here, right? This is what we call a scrubber. Uh, I can zoom in so you can see much clearer. And then we can scrub and see the part that we want. So if we want that ferry going across, then yeah, that's a good part. But uh, what I'm gonna do is just cut so that we only have, again, about three seconds or let's say, yeah, three seconds. 
and then copy this same text right here, paste it in. All right, so what I've put in is just 20 minutes away from the CBD or the city. And we'll need to decrease the size of this uh, because it's way too big. I'll just go ahead and enter one of these options like so. That looks pretty good, but let's go increase it a little more like that. And that looks pretty good. Now I do want to make sure that it's readable. So therefore we are going to use the spacing, make sure we have some uh, line spacing like so. And it looks pretty good. And should we add some vignette? <laughs> we'll add some vignette to the uh, video footage. So again, once again, we'll go edit video, add some vignette uh, like that. So it's a little darker. I mean, too much is not too good depending on the clip, but that looks good. And again, let's make sure we've got the animation, which it should uh, right there. And now let's go ahead and play the clip again. So I'll play it and let you watch it. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and add one more. And the final one will be a kind of call to action. So we'll go ahead and add a page. And again, I'll add a new video. This one looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and add that. And I'll just go ahead and set videos background, which is a quicker way. And I'll go ahead and copy this text again, paste it right here. And I'll just say, visit us today as a call to action. Doesn't quite stand out, so put it where you want. You know, it could be, you know, visit us on a particular website or call us, whatever it is, uh, depending on where you're actually going to be posting or uploading this video to. But I will just keep it rather generic for this demo. And this one will be a little longer. Let's keep it about five seconds. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And make it fade again, but that's all good. But let's just play it from this one because from the start of this one, that is. And I'll play it, visit us today. Looks pretty good. Five seconds of that. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the other thing that you can do with Canvas Video, video Editor is add music. So let's say you wanna add some music to the background of it, then you're free to do that. Uh, if you go to audio, and by the way, if you do not see things like uh, videos, audio, things like that, simply click on more and then it should be at the top here somewhere, all right? Or otherwise search for it. Or if you wanna add audio to the tabs here, you can do so by searching for it. So that's the way to use this, all right? But let's go ahead and click on audio and search for a relevant uh, audio clip. All right, search for a relevant audio track. You can either search, of course, through Canva's audio library, or I recommend going to Epidemic Sound. Uh, link will be in the description box below. The audio and the music at Epidemic Sound is safe to use if you're posting on sites like YouTube, Instagram, or other social media sites, or even for commercial purposes. So that way, you know 100% that you're Good to go, you're safe, you're in the green lights because the audio from Canva's audio library, I'm not 100% sure if this can be used on, you know, for commercial purposes and stuff like that. So yeah, do your due diligence at the end of the day. So what I've gone ahead and done is search for holiday so that any holiday audio tracks appear. And now this one here, I just let you uh, listen to this just for a couple of seconds. <laughs> Sounds pretty relaxing, right? What we're gonna do is simply add this to the video. All you need to do is just click once. Now that'll add a new layer underneath the video footage. And you can actually select the part that you want, but let's go and drag it all the way right here. And we can see where it actually starts. And what we can do is play it all together. So at the very start, click play. <laughs> So it sounds pretty good, looks pretty good in my opinion. Just a very quick uh, video ad. If you wanna choose a specific section of that audio clip, you can simply double click it. And now you can see the entire audio track and we can drag the audio track where we want. Let's say we wanna start it somewhere 
here because that looks like there's a lot more going on there. A few more things that you can do with your audio. If you click on the little ellipsis right here, uh, you can click that once and you can add some audio effects. You can also turn down the volume or turn up the volume. Uh, in this case, it's really 100%, but let's turn down the volume somewhere, you know, 50%, especially if you have got like a voiceover going on, then you don't want the audio or the music track to overpower your voice. So that's where you can go ahead and adjust it. But let's go ahead and play it now. So it should be softer. Going back to editing your video, what you can also do is add clips in between clips that you've already added. So if you look right here, there's a plus in between each and every clip that you've added. So let's say you forgot to add something, you can very well just click on plus, that'll add a new page like so. Uh, that's if you need to do it anyway. And while we're on the subject, what you can also do is click the plus and there's an option to add a transition in between the clips. So let's go ahead and do that as uh, we'll do one example. I'll click on add transition. And now the types of transitions that appear, we can do a dissolve, we can do a slide, a circle, line wipe, stack, chop, and this one here, match and move. All right, but let's do a little simple dissolve in between and play it. <laughs> So it's subtle, but that's what you can also do with Canva's video editor. At this point, you can do other things. Let's say you wanna add other elements and shapes, things like little emojis and stickers. Feel free to add your own just to be a bit more creative, but you're given that flexibility at least using Canva's video editor. But once you are kind of done, you've reviewed your video, you can check how long or the length of the video by looking at the top and it's 13.7 seconds. That gives you an indication of, you know, how long this video will be. Otherwise you can look down below and you can see the length right there. But once you're happy with your video, you can download it by clicking on share and click on download. Select MP4 video, which is the recommended, and select all pages. So all the pages means all the clips. In this case, there are four clips, and we'll click on download. It may take some time depending on the length of your video, so give it some time and be patient with this. All right, now the video has downloaded. You can see it right here in MP4 format. <laughs> So that is the clip and that's what we created in just a few minutes. And that's how you use Canva's video editor. There's limitations of course with using its editor. You can't add things like B-roll, which means you can't add a clip over a clip. If you take a look, it's just one layer. And if I try to add another video, for example, this one right here. All right, so it'll play that and pretty much overwrite the existing one. You can't do things like that. So it's quite simple, as simple as it is. There are a lot of limitations compared to other more advanced video editors. As long as you're not trying to do anything too sophisticated or you're not trying to make a blockbuster hit, Canvas video editor will do. But that's all from me. Hope this video was helpful. And if it was, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to stick around to watch this video here where I teach you how to use Canva to create video ads. I'll see you there.